Hey everybody, Shannon Knight here, and welcome back to another Let's Play Murder at the Masquerade Manor. <laughs> Sorry about that, I have allergies. Anyway, last time we left off in this game, I um, tried to guess who the murderer was and got it wrong horribly. But this time, we're gonna do this again, and this time we're gonna do. Shut up, Mr. White! I know you're being murdered over there, but I got a video to do! Now, where are you? Where are you? Where are you, Mr. White? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes. This time we're gonna do it, and we're gonna do it right! So, let's do this one. Now, what I'm planning on doing, you see? Say, 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 say! You see, what I'm planning on doing, huh? Is um when I'm interviewing um each suspect, I'm gonna be writing down everything he says so that way I can. Oh, hello. It's Mr. White. He's been murdered. Really? What was your first clue? Everyone here is a suspect. I should speak to everybody to no see if I can find out who did this. No one else this strange that I'm talking to it myself. It looks like he's been stabbed to death, so I should no. see if I can find the murder no. weapon. Okay then. I'll watch my back, though. There's a murderer on the loose. Really? Like, that wasn't obvious. You, devil. How can I help you, Inspector? Now, I'll be right back after I talk with the devil. Be right back. And we're back for the briefing moment until I find the murder weapon and, um, somebody else to talk to. Anyway, so far I have interviewed the devil and the anonymous. Now, how I'm keeping track of this all is by, um, when I'm talking to them, I'm writing down everything that they're saying, so that way I can properly conduct this investigation and make sure to include every de single little dirty detail that they have to tell. So, I'll be right back. And I'm back after interviewing this person. And um, what's this over here? A murder weapon! Oh, hold on. Like, too close down. Pick it up! It's covered in blood. Indeed, I bet this and it's a corkscrew too. So now we have to now you stay away from me. You stay away from me. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone here. <clears throat> I must admit, um, the game here is pretty nice. It's got nice graphics, nice, <laughs> nice gameplay, nice sort of um. Curiosity, How can I help and you, it really leaves you guessing because it's never the same twice. Although they really need to work on the voice acting in this thing. Anyway, be right back, and I'm back. Uh, geez, who are you? Are you the Raven? Oh yes, you're the Raven. Can I help you, Inspector? Actually, yes, yes you can. Now let's start with the first basic question. Uh, give me a moment here, guys. I'll be right back after I finish questioning the Raven here. And the reason why I'm pausing in between conversations is so that way I can I was focus on, in the on this, so that way I can focus on this, and I'm not wasting your guys' time. So I'll be right back. And I'm back, and so far the investigation is going good. I have some suspects in mind, but nothing I'm going to tell you yet. Oh, it's you, the Harley Quinn. Oh, 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 hey, Doctor. Can I help you, Inspector? Nothing solid yet. But, I will tell you when we reach the near end of this video. In other words, I'll be right back. And I'm back. And so far, the investigation has been going relatively well. Uh, if I keep this up, this video should be relatively short, and I shall be... that there! Should be solving this mystery in no time. Why do I keep moving that way? Every time I move forward, I... this... I just seem to do a little moon dance that way. Stop it. Stop it. And the <coughs> I wonder which one Oh dear. It seems you two are a bit stuck, is it not? How you can I cat been meaning to talk with you? Now you wouldn't mind Sam questioning, would you? And I'm back. And this investigation is close to coming towards an end. Why do I keep doing that? Can I help you, Inspector? Why do I keep sliding like this? This is not comfortable. <clears throat> I really don't know. Hello? Is anyone in here? Hello? Will you stop doing that, game? Will you stop doing that? Will you stop doing that with the controls? Why do I keep... 
Why do I keep sidestepping every time I move forward? I mean, this is annoying. This is annoying. You, who are you? Are you anonymous? You, you. I want to talk with you. How can I help you, Inspector? Ah. Somebody I haven't interviewed yet. Let's get to the questioning, shall we? And I'm back, and the Pietro here just told me an interesting story. I have my suspicions about who the murderer is now, but I cannot firmly conclude who it is until I have interviewed everyone. And the last person, and um, the person I have not interviewed yet is the Scaramouche. Speaking which way is he anyway? Scaramouche! Scaramouche, what are you? Are you just How can I help you, Inspector? You're the jester. I think I already interviewed you. Wait, did I interview you? I want to check, but I don't want... Okay, this is what this is. Yeah, I interviewed you. I, um, I, I know I interviewed him because I... Ah, there you are, Skinner Muge. Is Skinner Muge fancy name for Big Nose? Because that's what you seem to have, buddy. You seem to have a really, really, really big nose. Anyway, you wouldn't mind some questioning, you know, would you? And I'm back! Now, I have just interviewed the last of the suspects, and now I am ready to try to come to a conclusion about who the murderer is. Now, first, before I do that, I'm just gonna step into here, because this seems to be the only area that the suspects don't go into. And it's the only safe haven that I can actually really think about this kind of stuff. So, anyway... I'm gonna look over the, um, the information I have gathered from all the witnesses that I have talked to. I mean, suspects. Blah. I'm getting my words confused. And properly conclude who the murderer is. So I'll be right back. I think, uh, I have, I have looked over all the evidence that I have gathered throughout this game. And I managed to narrow it down to two likely suspects. Bum bum bum. The devil has always been a bitter rival with Mr. White. I uh, know. Has always been a, a bitter. Sorry, I'm a little bit new at this. Let me start over. <coughs> At exactly 8.30 p.m., Mr. White has been murdered with a corkscrew. Now, since the murder weapon has been a corkscrew, this, um, has, um, this has rooted out the devil, the Scaramouche, the Doctor, the jester. That's pretty much it. Hold on, let me check where the. Oh yes, and the harlequin. And a nitsy. Okay. The cat. The cat had the per had the right weapon. Not to mention a perfect motive. You see, Cat One in her earlier years was an ambitious entrepreneur, and she asked Mr. White for some to lend her some money to help her start off her company. But since, but when that happened, Mr. White complied and gave her the money. But what happened next was that um, Cat's business was an utter failure, leading Cat into a deep debt with Mr. White. But it was never legal. So his staff would have cleared her debt. But she was with in the library with the devil and the doctor. And the doctor can confirm this. So the cat is out. Now anonymous. Anonymous had the perfect weapon, but he had no motives. Uh, but he had no mother. No mother blah, motives. So that leaves him out too, leaving only the raven. And but, but oh, hold on. Now, Pedro. Now, 
I'm gonna. The Raven was alone in the power room and had the perfect weapon. <gasps> well, she does not have mo um any motives of all whatsoever about why she want why she would want Mr. White dead. She was in fact alone in the ball room, which gave her plenty of time and no witnesses to murder Mr. White. But Pedro also has a really good but also has the perfect weapon, the murder, but also has an alibi. But the strange thing about Pedro's alibi is you see, her alibi was that she was with Anonymous in Scaramouche in the library. But the problem is, the Jester was with Anonymous in Scaramouche in the library. And Jester cannot be accounted for as a murderer because his weapon was an ice pick. So it's either Pedro who had the perfect line opportunity or the Raven. It's one of these chill. And the murderer is... The Pedro! Yes! Booyah! Got it! <laughs> I'm a genius! Anyway, thank you all so much for watching! If you like this video, please hit that like button, maybe even the subscribe button. Let's try to get 100 subs! Anyway, as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!